I'm Mark Proctor, and I'm the platform architect for BMS and BPMS. I'm a co-founder with Bob McWhirter, who's also at Red Hat, of the open source Drills Rule Engine. I joined Red Hat 10 years ago as a team of one, which we've built up Sizeby since then. I'm involved in the innovation side, inspiring and, and leading the open source uh, projects. And I'm also involved with the product, making sure we deliver something that's stable and mature for our customers. BMS is a platform for automating decisions. That can include a variety of things, from solving mortgage applications to situational awareness, to helping to uh, automate medical situations. It's quite an exciting field because of the variety of areas which you can help, whether it's financials, medical, telecoms, it's everywhere. BMS has always been popular with engineers because it allows them to get in and change things. They're not tied into a tightrope that can only go in one direction. So it means that, yes, we try and provide high-level tooling to get things done, but when they need to, they can de get down and get mucky with the code. And that's one of our differentiators. One of the things we're working on in the 7 Series is to have a massive improvement in our tooling to really get it to the next level so that we can not just be a tool that's really popular with developers because it allows you to get deep and low with the code, but also it means we can appeal more to the citizen developers, which is our big theme for the 7 Series, which is going to happen towards the end of this year. We want people to be able to build applications end-to-end -end with our tooling. So we're going to go from being something developer-orientated with engines and with code going all the way up to the stack with graphical drag and drop builders. Part of this effort has been a big push on usability. We've done a big investment on UXD, you have new designs, the entire uh, tooling from top to bottom has been refreshed, been rewritten, and it's looking really quite professional now, it's something I'm personally very proud of. So you have the new form builder, which um, is built on bootstrap grid views. And this allows us to have a responsive design, so it means you can resize the forms from uh, desktop, to tablet, to mobile devices, and it's a very slick layout tool. The same layout technology we use for forms can also be used for the new Dash Builder uh, technology, which means we can drag charts. Uh, with actually extensibilities, you can write your own components and position those on the page. One of the core pieces of the BMS and the BPS product is the designer, the BPM design that we use. On the rule side, it's used for rule flow, uh, how we orchestrate the organization of our rules. On the process side, it's used for uh, the BPN spec. The core part of this is the BPM designer, which we've done a substantial effort into, working with the Lienzo community to deliver a next generation designer, uh, something we believe now is going for commercial quality. One of the more interesting things going on within the BRMS community right now is the Decisional Model and Notation Specification, DMN. This is used for decision tables and it integrates as part of a decisions requirement diagram, which is used to integrate with the BPN spec. So there's an overlap between the two. We've put a big effort in recently to revamp the decision tables and we've been working again with the Lienzo technology to have these new highly scalable decision tables that work with the decision model notation specification. We'll provide an end-to-end -end low code environment for application developments. We'll be able to deliver this on OpenShift and that means people can get going straight away without having to download or install anything. And this is going to be a great way for us to be able to provide a business process PaaS solution. One of the things I'm quite proud of working with industrializing nations is uh, our relationship we built with OSTI. OSTI is Argentina's largest healthcare organization. And we've been working with them a number of years, started just from working with the developers in an open source environment, helping them get to learn what the technology is. That was very successful. It gets noticed by their managers and their managers then are even more successful with it, and that's noticed by their managers. So we build a relationship now right from the lowest developers right up to the CEO level. The relationship we have with OSTI has been quite a dynamic one. We built relationships with developers, which has allowed us to understand how the industry works, uh, and that's given us better ways to improve our software. On the other side as well, we as Red Hat are leaders in open source distributed development, collaborative development, and that's expertise we can give back to them, how to improve how they write software, how to work with open source, and how to make the best out of open source. We've also worked with them to play our part in reducing their total cost of ownership, and to help the main focus of the work we've done together is to help improve the customer experience.